Hello everyone, JCYP here. And this is the first walkthrough. We're gonna capture every bronze type Pokemon. So starting with the hollow. Obviously I'm using these ones, but uh, you're gonna be using a different type. For the hollow, well honestly you're not gonna start with hollow, I don't think. Well, I mean, you can, I'm pretty sure. But I wouldn't recommend summoning, because I'm pretty sure they'll just end up with one shot. Well, I'm on New Game Plus, so... Can I hit him now? Yeah, it's not good to summon him. What it's good to do is, is damage him. Most likely, though, you're going to be doing one damage. Me, on the other hand, can roll into them and do damage. But, the higher the flask, the easier it is to capture them. Normally. I also learned that apparently you have to throw the flask a certain way to capture a Pokemon. Anyway, that was the first Pokemon. The, I'm showing the earliest points where you can capture these Pokemon. Next would be the dog. This video we're just doing all bronze type of Pokemon. Where all of them are located at least. If I had to say the best starter type though, I'd recommend the Guru. Or the Guru, whatever his name is. On. Now you don't one shot this guy. No, 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 don't summon. I'm on the game plus. I wouldn't recommend summoning them. I might replay the game again, but I'm not sure. Or should I say the mod? If you don't get captured in this bubble. Okay. That was a bad throw, by the way. But also, sometimes it depends on the flask and how low you get. That was the second one. There are 23 bronze Pokemon, to be exact. The best one I found to capture here, so you don't have to waste 20,000 souls. Oh yeah, I plan on using the Pokemon for themselves, so... Is what my plan was, so uh, let's just... Next would be the Crystal Lizard. Not worth it. Oh, he doesn't even attack, I don't think. All I think he does is run. This is the best, the best one to capture. Hopefully he doesn't escape. That was the third Pokemon. Next is the Peasant Hollow. We're going pretty fast on this, I know. But some of them won't be fast. Where I plan on going is... Let me think.
Oh yeah, we want to go to foot of the. No, we want to go to the undead settlement for the peasant hollow. Which is pretty easy to get to. You're going to come up behind this one. You can roll and jump in your damage, but all I want to do is throw these because these are higher level teams. And it should be easy to capture. Real quick, I don't want those dogs to back Well, too late for that. Next is the Hollow Slave. This is another prison. You can get this pretty early as well. They're basically near each other at the end. So Normally these guys have no boys, but apparently they just have poison, so. See, I would normally just do damage to them, but this is the new game plus. And I have a bunch of these anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That was the next Pokemon. After that is Cage Spider. Which again is an undead settlement. Do not follow my lead. Okay? Do not follow my lead. So we want to go over to here, where we get the Sunlight Covenant. We get this little fella up, and we just throw this out. Well, you don't throw it out at me, but you have to most likely get the, uh, the grab the kids by the way. You know, it's, you're supposed to usually hit them low their health, and the more damage they take, the easier you can. Next is the rat. Which requires us to go to Cliff Underside, but most likely some people don't know about Cliff Underside, but some people probably do. But I, from some, I mean a lot of people know about Cliff Underside and barely any people know about it. what. A lot of people know about it, and people that don't know about it, it's just like barely any people that don't know about it. If that makes sense. Also, don't hit me, please. I'm sorry. Go to Cliff Underside. Jump down here. I have a cat off, but most likely you won't. But all is surviving. I plan on making a new game and replaying this again, but I'm not going to be recording that, so. About that. The next mod I plan on doing, though, is the Convergence mod. But obviously, we got the Cliff Underside on fire if you weren't paying attention. There's not going to be a lot of talking going on here, only catching. I think you just want to capture one of these small rats right here in the sewers. For me, it's guaranteed to stay in there. After that, is the Guru. We're on the eighth Pokemon, by the way. Guru.
again, not letting me lot of time. Maybe I, I might quit my, like, just, like, all the ones that I want on it. Which is what I'm gonna do. Guru. Oh, wrong thing. Ooh, it's fine. Let's fight the other. Kill him. He's very small, so he's very small. Quick though, I'm actually gonna equip the Pokemon that I want. I'm trying to keep some of these videos short and simple, but now I am keeping them long. Some of the more better type, bronze types, I really want to equip. That is not a good type. I'll go with the Scholar. Next is the Skeleton. This one, again, is at, well, Cliff Underside, but we went to the Dilapidated Bridge. Because this one is near the rats. You can go from cliff underside over here, but if you do it from... Well, actually, never mind. You will need a key for this. Which I don't have. Which is why we're going back up here, and I'm pretty sure the key that I need you need ashes, which I haven't grabbed them yet. So real quick, we're actually gonna go grab them. So what you wanna do is go past the raining volley of arrows. Well, it's not really a volley, it's just one arrow. From one giant guy. go for that item right there, but instead go for this item over here. And just go back to shrine. Since the game automatically gives you a homework homework? No. Homeward mode. You give her the ashes, but it'll cost twelve thousand. buy some embers from her. So that I have like barely any. But what I want to do now is buy the key, which it should be here. Yes it is. It's the grave key. I thought it would cost twelve thousand. It only cost one thousand five hundred. Not bad. I prefer to always skip the dialogue. And then next, we have to go back to the un uh, the dilapidated bridge, so we can grab the Knight of Pokemon. For my second run, I think I might choose a different type of Pokemon. You open this, the rats will fall again, but not the big rat, though, because it's too big. Never mind, none of them can, because the big rat is too fat. This is where you also get the red hilt of halberd, but in this doesn't really matter, because you only do one damage all the time. What 
I want to do is this. And that's basically it for the skeleton. Don't throw another. We'll go back to the last one if I rest it, because next Pokemon is the Corvian. A lot of these next Pokemon are going to be near, mainly in this area. So we're actually going to go to the Road of Sacrifice to grab the Corvian. He's the tenth Pokemon. Once we get to twelve, I say we're halfway done. I wonder how much damage this gun does. Hopefully, it's not shot. I'm just gonna catch him. That's the next Pokemon now. Pokemon after that is the Slug, I think. Oh no. Next to the Lycan's Rope Hunter. Which is in this area again. The closest one is near Halfway Fortress. Again, I recommend doing damage first before capturing them, because if you do this, if you don't deal damage, it's not going to be guaranteed to capture. It just depends on which flask you use, also, as well. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well. Next Pokemon is the Horn Bug, or wait, Poison Horn Bug. You go down here. This one's also another easy catch, especially because there's like three of them right there. These are easy for me to catch because I have a, a certain, a better flask. After that, though, is the crab. The baby crab, to be exact. Do not use these, by the way, because... Not the... Well, I mean, you can use some of the bronze types. I'm just saying, don't use the crab, the poison horn bug, or the slug, because those three are trash. They are just literal trash. Why did I do that? Do not follow my lead. Obviously, go to the crucifixion woods. Sometimes I make mistakes. Back. Back. No. Where we're gonna go is Crucifixion Woods to capture the baby crab. After the baby crab, we got the slug as the 14th. So once we hatch the baby crab, we're in the final 10. Kind of forget that big crab's over there, so. Uh, Baby crab was awesome. Next is the slug. Also, do not use the one after this, the rotten flesh. <coughs> Again, rotten flesh sucks. Like, some of these suck, some of these good. But next, we gotta go to Fair and Keep. Nope. Back. Yep. 
slow to bear with me, so that's why. Like some of these that some of they just can't move, so that's why they're not worth catching. Next is the rotten flesh. For this, you have to go to Undead Settlement, or what we call Cleansing Chapel. Now there's two ways to do this. The short way, by going through the shortcut right there, or the long way, which we're going to do it the long way, because sometimes you might not have the shortcut first. seen what we've caught in so far because there are 23 types. I'll let you move out of my way, please. Thank you. Move. It's not worth fighting them. Those look like gargoyles. I would normally jump down there, but because I have cat ring, but we're not going to do that. Not all people are going to have cat ring. So you just going to run past all these fellas. Or you could just kill them. I preferably like running past. You piece of crap. Alright, you canceled my Estus. That's nice. Next video will be the silver Pokemon. But, we're not on that video yet. Next is this bat one. He'll just be right, normally he'll be on the ceiling and he'll just drop down on you. But, he's already down there for me. Also, ignore this guy, run all the way around here. Also, don't even try to capture beacons. Beacons are not tamed. Yeah, deacons are not table. So. Is it captured? Captured? No. Captured. The rotten flesh. Next is the basilisk. You want to go to the Keep Ruins, or you could go to Fair and Keep, but I recommend the Keep Ruins because it's way easier to get the mass list there. Hopefully you guys are following my lead, or girls. I keep saying guys or, girl, uh, or girls. Normally I only do like the uh, thing only if I accidentally messed up my speech.
This is another bronze type Pokemon the Maximalist. Surprisingly, he's not silver type, even though it has Curse. Which Curse would help very greatly for a type of Maximalist. For an example, like Havel. I need to start saying everyone instead of guys and gals. Gales? What? Guys and girls. For some reason my speech sucks. After the basilisk is the corpse grub, which is easy to get. So you wanna go back to cleansing chapel. So we're not going to go up there. I accidentally went over there. We're going to go back over here. The long route. But this time it's not going to be as long. But if you have that shortcut, you can just go back up where the deacons are and all that. So you just want to capture one of these guys. And you get the quotes right in front of you. If it counts. which requires us to go all the way to Grand Archives. Apparently, to also get Silver-type Pokémon, you have to capture uh, 10 Pokémon that are Bronze-type. After that, to get gold type of Pokemon, by the way, you have to capture 30 different type of Pokemon. Well, not, well, yeah, 30 different type of Pokemon. Because if you capture the same type of Pokemon, you don't get a love token. I'd also recommend starting off with a love token as well. So this is the next guy. Normally you're supposed to do damage, but because these are better, you want to just, oh, I can just use these. But if it were these, these pink ones, you'd want to get the Pokemon the low health first before you capture them. Anyway, that was the next one, the Scholar. After that, we got the Man Serpent. But before we can go capture the Man Serpent, I have to return home. Travel. You want to travel to Osiris the Consumed King. Because after killing him, you can get one main circle. Then I better be recording. I need to go check. Yes, I am. I've been recording for 29 minutes. Actually, 30 minutes. We're on the 19th Pokemon out of 23, so. Just, I will just throw it out. Man Serpent. Four more Pokemon for us to catch. Next is the Demon Statue.
which for this I don't have the demon ruins yet. Game crashed. Hopefully it does not crash again. I am simply checking if it's still recording. Good. Pokemon meeting after this, we'll only have three more left. It's a good Pokemon in a little bit, he can't move, so he's very slow. can move quick. Just, your attacks are very long and stagger very easily. For an example, anyway, we're on the bone wheel. We are almost done, by the way. This, you want to go to Catacombs of Carthus. <laughs> I almost forgot where that was. But you want to go for Catacombs of Carthus for this one. Because for some reason, I feel like this is the only place you can find the bone wheel, but there's probably more areas that I'm just not looking hard enough. This is the one we want to capture. Yeah, uh, 
find those guys pretty hard and they are quite That one only leaves two more left. Next one we want is at the Church of Yorshka. Some of these are just a very little game. Said some of them actually like require you to kill a lot of bosses. So But you can get like a ten early game, so it doesn't really need to be worth you don't really need to be worried. Because once you grab those ten you can get some other early game ones. For example, you can get like a thrill hunt. You can hold on, let me think how many early ones you can get. You can basically get 15 and off the back if you wanted to. But actually, 17 if you also go to the uh, Deacon's area first. Anyway, though, let's go back to capture the, the. I went to the wrong place, but you know what? We'll make this one number twenty-two. It's fine. So this one's actually the last one here we were supposed to catch, but I'll show it anyway. I also plan, I only plan on making the videos, and then I plan on putting timestamps and uploading them tomorrow. And this is also the guy you want to catch, right? You want to move? Here. I forgot you're still on there. Run away. Yeah, don't worry about him. That's just Jeremy. <laughs> I just got jump scared by dog. <laughs> That only leaves one more left. I was just checking the recording if it was still recording. For this one, gotta go to Dragon Kill Mausoleum. Don't worry, this one's pretty easy to catch. <laughs> but it's still pretty far away. So I actually just go over here, immediately go here. This is the last bronze type. The this is the uh, rock lizard. Oh, good. The last one. I always prefer the homework bone. Alright. That'll be it, everyone. That was the last Pokemon. Out of all 23. So, I will see everyone 
in how to capture all the silver po Pokemon video. Bye.